The basic setup of the LRD6110 label sensor starts with making sure that the web is tight against the backplate and that the label is centered in the sensing area. And when running, you want to make sure that the web does not move up and down in the sensor area in this direction or it will affect the performance. First, we have to show the sensor what a gap between labels looks like. That's easiest done sometimes by simply removing a label and then advancing that blank place so it's liner only in the sensor. And we adjust the span adjustment four or more turns in one direction and then two turns back that makes sure that our gain adjustment is centered in case it's been changed by someone in the past and then we want to turn the shift adjustment until we have this light just down at the bottom on the web light. You don't want to go too far past it, just on that last light. Then we can advance it to a label, make sure it goes up to the label end, and then stop it on a gap to be sure that it goes all the way down to that bottom web light. If it doesn't, then simply adjust the shift a little bit until it does. And that should be all you need to make the sensor operate well on almost any label.